Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is episode uh, 2-18 of our playthrough as we are currently in uh, Mass Effect 2. And uh, today I thought we'd take on uh, Samara's loyalty mission. So we do have to go to Omega to uh, take this mission up. I already transported here. Uh, between Thane's loyalty mission and uh, this mission I decided to go... Uh, and basically explore the rest of the uh, planetary cl clusters, which I have done. I unlocked a lot of side missions. But, uh, I'm gonna knock you. I'm gonna finish off the loyalty missions, do as many side missions as I can before we have to go take on the Reaper IFF. But, uh, I want these loyalty missions done. And this was always a fun one. Leaves us with a very, uh, leaves us with a choice at the end. Hold on a second, just, uh, top one off the scotch. Alright. So, obviously, we're taking Samara. And since I want someone who's not going to care or what happens, we're taking Jack. Well, I've been taking Samara out in a while. <laughs> Heavy throw. We'll leave the rest of those points. I can attempt this. Okay, that's fine. Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Oh, we get to talk to Arya again. That's always a fun time. I'm not as crazy about the Asari as everybody else is, but some about Arya that's just maybe it's her danger level, I don't know. She was a little hotter than the rest. Everybody likes Liara, but I like Arya. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yaxi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yaxi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl, pretty thin, lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. <laughs> I love Arya Tilo. She's probably one of the best characters in this game. But we don't get to see too much of her until ME3. There's a mission I remember very well, so, uh, and you gotta do all the running around to find where I gotta go. Are you here about my daughter? My nep died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nep, my baby. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my nep. That's what matters. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nep is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. 
She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going you out... You know, that last time. line when I was the younger VIP didn't area affect of that me so much. Now I'm older. I think you need a password or something to get in I fully in there. understand where that Change woman's coming was from. so sudden. She just seemed... tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. The clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. And nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? She never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. I'll try. But if my investigation requires it, I'll do what I have to do. Please try. For me. Please. I'll examine her things. All right. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. 
I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. You gotta say, it's probably the uh, most human store that they have in this game. I've made that. Some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I never part with it. End. End is not. I don't know about anybody else, but uh, years ago as a younger man, watching that diary never really affected me. Uh, now I'm a little bit older and I've walked back through it. Oh, gotta go to the back where my troops is back here. Back to the apartments. Uh, Like I was saying, uh, watching those diary entries now and watching her uh, get seduced into this, it's not on Mulder, it's a lot harder to watch it. I'll be honest. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerud. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Sounds like my type of place. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us? Christ, I'm looking evil. According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Alright. Let's go find us a murderous. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. <laughs> How the hell did that guy get here? I love this place. I love everyone here. Oh, uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moira is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A vid piece. 
She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information here. I'm Rutek. I've been monitoring the gang's call. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florence, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I'll think about it. Please do, please. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. All right, we can do that. I, I, I don't want the paragon points, but fuck it. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. You're breathing on my face. All right. That was easy. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Okay, I actually didn't get points for that. Never mind. Lots of good cred hunting tonight. We'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of our ES people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think there's something, and are about to find out they're not. Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. <laughs> that was worth it. The drinks here are so strong. I think I'm doing the opposite to attract warmth right now, but uh, I'm having fun. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Can you back that up? We go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. <laughs> Damn. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Never mind, I thought I was doing a bad job. In, there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? There must be some good artists on Omega. I really can't imagine anything good here. You can find beauty in the darkest places. Even here. Something I should know, but had forgotten. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Hallett? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I'm not changed by the places I go. They're changed by me. That's impressive. When uh, I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, that dangerous up. places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. 
power is that egg. <laughs> Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. I thought I go thought I was gonna mess that one up. Distract Morinth. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Ooh, assault rifle damage, nice. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Let's see what's up here. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. <laughs> I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. I think I know enough to keep going. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you. Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. As strong as she is, let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Marth or Samara? Well, oh, I'm evil, so. And she's hot. Morinth will be more useful to me. You will regret your choice. Thank you, Shepard. My mother was as powerful as she was hateful. She wasn't hateful. You helped me. Now I'll help you. Let me take my mother's place on your team. You don't seem to care at all about the death of your mother. Why should I? She was dead to me long ago. But I'll keep her alive for you so you don't have any complications with your crew. I'm a dead ringer for my belated mother. Few people can tell us apart. And I've practiced long and hard to mimic her in every way. If I closed my eyes, I'd swear you were Samara. It took years to perfect, but when I was younger, posing as my mother brought its advantages. How do you think I originally escaped from Thessia? Let me just slip into this horrible uniform and none will be the wiser. I'd like to look around a bit first. Take your time. I'll be ready whenever you are. And I already looked around here, so... If you're ready, let's go to your ship now. Let's go. This is going to be fun. I 
I know I'm playing a morally ambiguous playthrough. I'm just an evil character all the way through, but damn. This is the most... This mission, I gotta say, is probably the most well-written mission that ME2 has. That the entire series has. I, to be honest with you, because it... <laughs> I really don't know how to describe it. But, uh... I knew I was going to do this. I knew I was going to go for more. and There was no choice here for me because I'm doing a bad guy playthrough. Maybe if I was going a middle run, you know, it'd be up in the air on what I was choosing. But, uh... Shit. I will say this. It was the most personal mission they could make. Because family fights are the goddamn worst fights. Got a new outfit for Morinth. Well, that's because uh killed Samara. And 30,000 credits, nice. Yeah, no, I'm being a little anticlimactic. I'm I'm trying to find the words to describe that mission, and I just can't. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Alright, so uh let me go do this assault rifle damage. Extended fuel cells. Solar rifle accuracy, thank you. Okay, we don't get more, we don't get the extended fuel cells, but it doesn't really help us anyway. We're, I'm done with the exploration already. So uh, let's go talk to Morinth real fast. And she is down on the crew deck. And she is going to be left, I believe. Yeah. There she is. How do you like my look, Shepard? Convincing? No one has a clue about Mother. It remains our little secret. You've been through a lot. I'm always fine, Shepard. I learned hundreds of years ago to look out for myself. How do you handle such a solitary life? I get lonely at times. I never really feel the love of another, at least not for long. I don't suppose there's anything I can do about that. But I want you to know something. My lovers spent their last moments experiencing pleasure you can't imagine. <laughs> like Neff. She died because her nervous system overloaded. With an ecstasy so great, she couldn't handle it. Why tell me this? It's just something to think about. You're unique. You've lived through the impossible. If anyone could survive, now's not the time. What do you think of Normandy's crew? They're an interesting bunch, but they're not you. You're so different from your mother. She was a terrible mother. She did her duty with precision and care, but no love. She taught us how to honor the goddess, to be good Asari. She even tried to teach us the value of self-denial. Huh. I was a bit of a disappointment. Some people take it hard when they disappoint their parents. My mother disappointed me too, and my opinion is the one that matters. She was happy to lead a life devoid of pleasure and then die. But you die with or without honor, you're still dead. Take the pleasures you're offered. You know what? I really can't uh, argue with that line, especially after 20 years in the army. Isn't it risky speaking in your own voice, Morinth? I've spent centuries being discreet, dealing with any bug or probing eye. I've made sure that Edie can't listen in. We're safe here. I just want to be myself with you, Shepard. What do you think of our mission? The Collectors are dangerous. I know I'd like them gone. Once that's accomplished, maybe you and I could celebrate. Yeah, no, we're not. I should go. So soon? Well, don't stay away too long. Alrighty, I believe we'll call it a mission here. I don't talk to any other crew members right now. I'm back up to the CIC here. Alrighty, uh, if you're a new viewer, returning viewer, uh, and you're joining this content, uh, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, Especially if you're enjoying that content, uh, please hit that like button. Help me break through that YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll see you all at the next episode. It's probably uh, an hour or two following this one. 
and we will be taking on Jax. Yep, I think she's on. Besides the two DLC missions, which are uh, Zaid and the Thief, uh, uh, the Thief Kasumi, uh, we're gonna do Jax's mission next, and then uh, probably take on Zaid's and uh, Kasumi's after that. So uh, I'll see you all at the next episode. Have a good one.